In this video, I'm going to show you how you can log on to your student um, email account. And once you have logged on, I'm going to show you how you can use your SkyDrive to save any school documents. This means you can access them from home and at school. It's the only place where you as students can save your documents. So it's very important that you know how to do it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to select the icon for student email from your school website. So in this case, I'm in St. Peter's College. So I just select student email and I sign on. So it'll just take a couple of moments to come on. And you can see login.live.com will come up. So I just maximize my screen there and I put in my full Windows Live ID. So in this case, it's M Lawler, number 11 for the year I started in the school at readcec.ie. Right, so you can see there. And my password then is be very careful putting in your password to make sure that you have upper and lower case and the numbers correct. And then select sign in. So now it'll just go off and connect. Now the first time that I connect, I have to work through just a few account information details. Okay, so you can see my name is, is listed up there. So just come down there and you can see my information is listed in there. OK, if I want to go to my email, I go straight over here to my Hotmail and I select that. And I'm now in my email account. OK, I have my email. Um, I if I if I move back here for a moment, just a second. Okay. Um, doesn't like that. So I'm just going to explain here this office account here. If you're in your email and you want to save to your SkyDrive, you select the office icon here. And recent documents. Okay, so it's coming up now. So it's saying um, the first time you go in, you must accept. So just accept the agreements. And it brings you in here to your SkyDrive. Okay, now the first time that I signed in a moment ago, I saw Hotmail and I went to my Hotmail and I also saw SkyDrive. So when you're in your Hotmail, you select Office to bring you back to SkyDrive. But when you sign in, first of all, you can go straight to your SkyDrive. SkyDrive. Now, I don't have anything here at the moment. To show you how to save to your SkyDrive, I'm going to open up an Office document. OK, so now I'm going to save this Office document. So this could be a document that your teacher has given you to work on, that you have amended and that you want to save to your SkyDrive. Or it could be a project that you're working on in school that you want to finish at home. What you do is you simply go over to File and you select Save and Send. OK, normally we're used to working up here, but you need to come down and select Save and Send. You then come up and choose Save to Web. OK, and it retrieves the locations. Now you must sign in to your SkyDrive account. So you select that icon there and because I'm already in my email it recognizes that it's me if you're working in school and you hadn't opened your email at that stage you would just sign in with your email username and password okay so if I sign out of here now Okay, I'm out of my email. If I go back to my documents and I sign out of here again. Okay, so I'm completely out of my Hotmail now. If I go into my Word, save and send, save to web and sign in. It will now look for my details. The 
www.ipc.ie and your password being careful again to make sure that you have the correct cases put in it will contact the server now remember students this is not working on the computer that you're sitting at this is basically contacting the server um, in in hotmail so you're saving it in your my documents and you select save as okay it's just take a moment to come up okay just give it a second because remember it's not dealing with the computer sitting in front of you it's contacting the main server So you can see that it's important to save your work, not at the very last minute when the bell goes. Okay, now it has come up and it does take that long. Now, obviously, if you're working in a school with fast broadband, it will take a bit quicker. Um, than here in the office at the moment but you can see your that is actually the location of your drive so you just simply give it the file name whatever you want to call it and hit save okay and it will save back up to the server see there uploading to the server okay when I close that document down now I'm going to my email Okay, so I'm going to go back to my school website. Okay, and I go to my email and sign in again. Just remember, in school, I don't remember to keep me signed in because you don't want other people signing in again. So here I can go directly into my SkyDrive by selecting it, so straight into your SkyDrive. Now, into my documents. And there is the document that I saved a moment ago. So it means that if you have internet access at home, you can open up that document at any time. Now, what it does is it gives you a browser view of it when it will open up here. You can't actually edit that straight away. You can either open it in Word, see it there, or you can edit it in the browser. Okay, so you can choose either one of those. So if you choose to open it in Word, Word will open up and you can save it on top of the other one then again. Okay, that's it. Thank you.